Hi, my name is Christian Greed. I'm a director at Circus, a New Zealand based production company. Well, I think we were always striving for reality. That was never the issue. Um, but what, what was happening is the computer generated images weren't quite getting us there. And that's why we were gravitating back to, you know, doing things for real using uh, real miniature models. And somehow we're still stuck in that mindset when I think computer graphics now have come a long way since when we were making these big mistakes and it's actually now getting us there. It's computer graphics for the first time is giving us convincing and real um, imagery. So I try to, I'd like to think that, you know, we could start considering using it again. It's not like we weren't using it, but I think it certainly uh, has, got, has found a new place in the industry. I think um, the reason, well, well, first of all, what it means is just uh, CGI fatigue just means that people were sick of seeing CGI. Now, when I say they were sick of seeing it, it means that they were sick of noticing that it was done in a computer. They're okay with it, as long as, they're on, you know, as, long as it doesn't distract from the film, as long as they're not reminded on how, how it was done, they're okay with it. Um, it's just that when they can so clearly see that it was in, done in a computer that they get tired and sick of it. So I think that's, that's, well, that's what it means and that's the effect that's happening. Well, it's, um, it's simply because of how computer programs work. So computer programs, um, animation programs, are really good at giving us a result that doesn't look like anything in the real world. Because, you know, they're all mathematically based programs, right? And so um, we as artists have to take whatever the computer gives us and kind of force that into a form that doesn't come natural to a computer. And that unfortunately still has to be done by hand. Well, I hope that it's going to be a combination of both. Um, I hope that doing it for real never goes away completely. But I also hope that the industry is starting to rethink a little bit how we use um, computer-generated images. Computer-generated images has become a little bit of a dirty word. You know, when we say something is CGI, it generally is a negative term. And, and that's fine, I guess, because we never want it to look like it's CGI. We do want it to look like it's real. But I'd like to hope that I can help change the industry's mind a little bit and rethink how they look at CGI. So at the end of the day, it's, you know, my conclusion to this wasn't about which tool we use, but as long as we, that we create seamless realities, that's all we want. We don't want to break the audience's suspense of disbelief. That's the most important thing.